What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a funk video. Another funk video. We're going to be talking about designing your own funk cowbells. And if you don't know what that is, funk is a really popular genre of music right now. And the main sound in most funk tunes is an 808 cowbell. So shout out to Olean's house. He's got a great video on how to design these from scratch. But I'm going to take it a step further for you guys today and give you a free rack of this very preset we're going to be designing if you guys don't want to design it yourself. But for those of you guys who want to up your sound design game, pay attention because that's what we're doing right now. We're going to be designing some funk cowbells. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to start with an analog. And I've got a little pattern made here. It sounds like this. We're gonna get it sounding like an 808 cowbell. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch the filter from oscillator two to 50-50. And we're gonna bump it up seven semitones and this is gonna create a perfect fifth. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage filter two and we're gonna set this to bandpass six. I'm gonna bump the resonance up here and bring this down to about 850. So right now this filter up here, filter one is being sent to filter two. We don't want that. So we're gonna bring that down. So it's sounding good. It's not sounding quite like a cowbell yet though. So let's go with our amp here. We're gonna bring our amp down uh, like this and bring the decay uh, somewhere around 500. Do that for both here. So you can kind of hear some movement going on here, and that's from the the bandpass filter here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to turn down the envelope all the way to zero. We'll do that for both here. Give it a little bit of juice there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some detune. Add just a little bit of detune here. So that's pretty basic, about as basic as you can get. And if you resample this, you could totally use it as a funk cowbell, but we're gonna be creating a rack here and I'm gonna show you guys a, a couple of macros. So you could, if you wanted to design like a plethora of these, you could do it yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna group this like this and we're gonna open the macros here and I'm gonna hit map on a couple of key things here. The first one is the shape. I'm gonna map the shape on both oscillators. We'll rename this one shape. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to our amp envelope here and then map our decay for both oscillators to macro two. And we'll bring the decay down to like probably about two seconds because that's about as, as long as we'll need. Probably won't need longer than two seconds there at the max. So what effects can we add here to make this sound a little bit better? Well, the first thing I like to do is add some chorus. And I'll turn the warmth all the way up. And uh, we could switch from chorus and an ensemble too. But we'll put the dry wet on a macro here in case we don't want to use that. We'll add the dry wet here to macro five to macro three. We'll add the dry wet to macro three. We'll call this one chorus. We'll keep it there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an EQ here and I'm going to roll off some of these lows. And I'm going to shelf down the highs a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some erosion. I'm going to put this after the chorus. And I'm going to map the amount to one of the macros here. So we'll call this one erosion. And whichever key your notes are in, try to map the frequency to whatever one fits the best. And lastly, what we'll do is we'll put some reverb here at the end. We'll map the dry wet here to the fifth macro. So one last thing you could do if you wanted to tighten up your cowbell sound a little bit is add a transient shaper. I'm not gonna include one in the rack here because I'm gonna be using a third party one. So I want you guys to be able to use this out of the box, but whatever transient shaper you have, even if you don't have a third party one, you could use drum bus for this, but I prefer using the soft tube transient shaper. So I'm gonna grab that right here and I'm gonna put this right at the front of the effects chain. And I'm gonna turn down the sustain and bring up the punch a little bit. 
And the last thing I'm going to add after the transient shaper is a little bit of glue compression. You can hear the difference there without. So now you can sort of play around with this. Make different shapes. And design your own Funk 808 cowbell. So if you guys want the rack here, the download link will be in the description. And keep an eye out for Night Funk. It's coming out here at the end of the month. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.